Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I've been running Arch for over a month now. Of course, I already did some basic installations and I did some uh, some work looking at um, a basic comprehensive review. But today I actually want to spend a little bit more time just, uh, just talking about the month that I have been on Arch. Um, because of course, um, Arch does have a rep reputation as being a much more advanced distro, and I'm not completely sure I would totally agree with that. It's not as easy as Ubuntu or Linux Mint or maybe even Manjaro, which is an Arch base that's uh, very easy to run. But I've really enjoyed my time on Arch. Now, the reason I'm still on this after such a long period of time is just because it took me quite a long time to get the audiobooks done for the last book I released and then I had to take some time to uh, restructure some things in the uh, back end of the uh, the channel here and then really from there it was just getting caught up on the work and as soon as I have a free moment I'm going to be wiping this and putting uh, Calculate Linux on it. Now what we are on here is we are actually on Cinnamon, and I really theme this up the way I like it. I'm using the Star Labs Systems theme, which has some icon packs in it. Um, this is one that I was looking specifically for with Cinnamon, because one of the things that I have found that is that the um, uh, Cinnamon outside of Linux Mint doesn't have very good theming, although the the system is is still really good. It doesn't have a lot of a lot of good themes in the system and so I was just kind of looking for different types of themes to use and so I downloaded several of them to look at but I really liked this background I like the icon packs um, and uh, the mouse pointers were all really cool those are the things that came from this now those were not uh, we're not gonna update the cache those were not here in the uh, in the system to just download, I had to go online and, and manually install them. In this case of the Star Labs, they just give you a script to install it. And so I ran that. Um, but of course, I installed this with GNOME and then I went over to Deepin when I got sick of that. And uh, Deepin does drive me nuts after a short period of time. So I'm like, well, what what desktop environment can I put on top of this system that's not going to drive me crazy? And I, I settled on Cinnamon. Not my favorite desktop for this particular computer, uh, but my overall definitely favorite Linux desktop as it is. So of course I do have my Cairo dock, which has the nice, um, nice fading effects over there. Uh, these are the most used applications that I run, and then I have just a couple here. These are just basically the default that Cinnamon came with. I never bothered with those, but I do like the fact that Firefox and a terminal is down here at the bottom. Um, but overall, my experience with running Arch uh, is very good. Now, I did some customizations. This is, of course, uh, installed with Arch Labs. Just It's not a, a uh, built up on Arch. You can see here that um, it's running on 1.6 gigs. Of course, we are recording with Simple Screen Recorder. That's taking uh, quite a bit of memory. Uh, the system itself runs just fine. This is running an A8-8800, uh, um, just a generic um, uh, Lenovo tower that I bought for, I don't know, 300 bucks a few years back. And it runs most Linux distros pretty flawlessly. It only has 6 gigs of RAM, and one of that is dedicated to the onboard graphics. So technically there's about 5 gigs of RAM that's being used, 1 gig graphics. So that's really what slows down this particular computer the most. Now as far as everything else, of course I also put uh, Pomoc on here uh, because I do like a good GUI um, package installer just to speed things up. And so um, I thought I hit that, maybe I didn't. Uh, we'll give that a second to pop up. Usually I just hit that guy once. There it goes. Um, I haven't run updates in maybe about a week or so, um, but I have not had, not had any issues running any updates. See, it wants to run about a gig of them right now, which is about a week's worth of updates. You can see there's a lot of things on here because I still do have the whole GNOME desktop. I still have the whole Deepin desktop, so there's a lot of Deepin updates. On top of that, other packages as well. Um, I'll probably run them today at some point in time. But for the most part, what I, I really like about, about installing Pomoc on here, and I did a video about that, is that I do have a system that's very much like uh, Synaptic Package Manager that I can install things pretty quickly here without having to jump into the terminal. Of course, that's something I had to install. Um, Art, uh, Manjaro has that, but uh, and I think... Um, um, 
Antergos has its own package manager. Most other arches, including this one, do not have a package manager at all. You just have to use um, you have to use Pac-Man from the terminal, which is okay. Um, I like the terminal. Um, I use the terminal quite a bit. I usually do things through the terminal before running to something like this, but. Having this installed on Cinnamon also gives me the ability to just quickly see if there's updates without uh, without having to run it or, or anything else. So my time on this, so what are the types of things that I have done on this particular computer? Obviously I've done a lot of different um, a lot of different media types. I can play DVDs, I can um, play things on Kodi. Um, I don't think I can play DVDs through VLC. Um, I generally just play them through Kodi. Um, I can install Skype. Now, Skype is installed here through a flat pack because Arch Labs has flat pack set up. If I were doing this not on Arch Labs where flat pack support wasn't already set up, I would have installed it through the Arch user repository. Uh, but that is installed via flat pack. And Skype on flat pack works just fine. Um, I have, of course, my, my main business emails and all of the emails related to everything else that I do between Evolution and Thunderbird. I have my two primary browsers. Waterfox is what I use for YouTube stuff. Firefox is what I use for everything else. And then should I need to get on a Google Hangouts, I actually use Chromium, which is also signed into the Google account, but I don't actually keep it uh, set up or anything. I just use it if I have to log into something. Um, other things I've done, I've done some some basic graphics. I was also working, you'll see this employment application. No, I'm not looking for a job. Uh, this is actually for a project I'm working on um, because Windows doesn't have a very easy way to edit your uh, edit a uh, PDF and make a PDF um, a live active PDF. But <laughs> guess what? Linux does <laughs> right out of the box. And so I'm actually doing work on this. So actually, I may not even wipe the system until this project is done. Uh, now that I know everything is set up and working, um, but I have uh, I've been working with that to uh, to download the information there um, and uh, working on a project for a design project here. So I've been working on the PDFs. Of course, I've done uh, some GIMP work. Um, I didn't actually. I don't think I've done any audiobook work over here. I think I did install. Um, I did install Audacity uh, just to just to do some testing of things, um, but I pretty much haven't done a lot more over here other than just some some cover adjustments to some books and some uh, basic web type things, and then the basic media and keeping an eye on accounts. So those are the kind of things that I'm doing on Arch. Um, would I recommend Arch? Um, as long as you are a computer user who is comfortable needing to fix something if anything were to go wrong, I would absolutely say, has anything gone wrong on me? Um, I think, yeah, one instance when I was trying to install Deepin, it did actually kill something. I had to get into the terminal and manually fix a few config files. Easy to find the solutions for it. Um, but for the most part, it was easy to do, easy to adjust. Um, running Arch Labs, um, Arch Labs in the former version was more like Bunsen Labs Arch version. Uh, but in this case here, now Arch Labs has set itself up and run as a, uh, best, basically as an installer, which can give you either a minimal or to give you certain applications. Um, I installed the basic applications I would generally use, so I gave myself a couple terminals. Um, I did install several LaTeX applications, although I have not actually tested them. Uh, there's several things that came with Deepin and a few things that came with Cinnamon uh, that are installed on here as well. But otherwise, I installed uh, GIMP. I actually installed Krita so I could play around with the latest version of Krita over here. Uh, that worked out well. I put on just the web browsers I needed. I think web just came pre-installed. I installed Chromium, Firefox, and Waterfox. Uh, Chromium, of course, is only there for if I need to do something like a Google Hangouts. As far as Office applications, I have done enough things with Writer and Calc over here. Uh, like I said, I haven't experimented with the LaTeX over here. I really should do that, especially since I have a LaTeX backup file uh, saved on my NAS. I should pull it over here before wiping the system just to experiment with that. And then as far as sound and audio, um, I've experimented with this clip grab, which is very nice for grabbing YouTube videos. Um, so if you wanted to grab uh, YouTube videos without using YouTube DL, which is a great terminal tool, but ClipGrab gives you a GUI for that. Um, 
I've used UVC View. I've decided not just not to load it up on this particular one. Um, I've had some sermons to pull off of a system with Handbrake, so Handbrake works. Um, I actually prefer to use Handbrake on the other system. It's just every now and again, um, between the two systems, every once in a while, um, the other computer's DVD drive, which is a lower quality than the one in this one, will not actually work right. And so I might need to jump back and forth between different computers to figure out which one is the best one to use Handbrake. Uh, Kaden Live is just here because I installed it just to check versions and a few things. Of course, Kodi, I use that quite extensively to interface with my library. And then VLC I'll use for a couple little things. There's not a lot else that I'm using on Arch. Um, nothing else really, uh, really uh, spectacular. Just basic computer use, mostly emails, videos, media, and communications with, with clients, mostly via Skype, which is the sad reality is. I'm in a public sector thing where I have, you know, public sector interfacing clients and that's what I have to use to use it. That's why I have Skype. I hate it, but at least Skype stays isolated this computer that doesn't have anything else on it. So that's that's kind of the, kind of where I'm going. Um, the overall experience though has been excellent. Um, latest versions, of course, this is Cinnamon 4. I have it set up um, just like the old uh, old methodology. I have a video about how to set that up with an old taskbar type feel, but then I have it set up just the way I like it. Uh, Cinnamon 4, really like it. I'm finding it very stable, uh, very useful. Um, and one of the cool things I, I am liking about Arch and uh, probably a place for Arch in my general workflow is to be experimenting with the latest packages so I know which ones I need. Now, this is an interesting one because I run Linux Mint on my production systems and what I like about it is that as I'm running updates, I'm only getting security updates. I'm not getting new overall versions of applications, which is exactly what I like. I do not need to take the time to refigure out how an application works if they changed it. A good example of that was OpenShot. OpenShot changed radically at one point in time, and it was just so different. I didn't have the time, and I dumped it. I just dumped it from my workflow because I used to use uh, OpenShot on uh, a number of things. Um, I've dumped it going entirely with Caden Live. But what an Arch system gives me is the ability to experiment with those in a more casual environment so I can play with the new version of Krita, which is not available on my Linux system. Um, I can play around with the latest updates to GIMP. I can play around with the latest, you know, you name it application. Uh, even my Kodi is, is 18.1, uh, which is a more significantly newer version than I have on most of my other systems. That's really what Arch is good for. That rolling component is actually good. I wouldn't want to use it as production. It's definitely more of a staging. Uh, but for the most part, I've had zero issues with stability. I've had no problems anywhere else. And I've really been enjoying my time on Arch. I would feel comfortable saying that uh, if you had to pick a distro that you're not allowed to change off your computer, I think that Arch would probably be one worth going to. Of course, here I started with GNOME, got sick of it, went to Deepin, got sick of it, went to Cinnamon without having to reinstall the entire system, without having to wipe anything. So if I were to log out of this system and go to log back in, then I could actually pick between GNOME, Cinnamon, or Deepin as a desktop environment. And then I still have my setup the way I like it. My Cairo dock is working perfectly fine and the same on each one of those environments. So I have any type of workflow and flexibility that I want on this system. Um, I do have some of the latest packages, which is great. It's been giving me an experiment, uh, ways to experiment and test with things. And then, of course, I've been ex doing things like, you know, updating cover designs for, for books. Um, all those were done over here. Um, this is actually a book, uh, the part of the cover design for a book that I have coming out soon. Uh, keep an eye out for that. And then this is, of course, the audio book, which is... Uh, tested um, tested over here on, on different things. So I've really enjoyed using Arch. Would I recommend Arch? Absolutely. Um, I've had a great experience with it. It's a great distro. Um, am I going to change all my production to it? No, no. My production stays at Linux Mint. I need packages to be able to held back. 
so that I can make the changes when I need to make the changes, not when the system tells me it's time to. So those are kind of your, your ups and downs, your pros and cons, and that is my experience on Arch over the course of the last month. So have you used Arch? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you prefer it to other systems? Do you have an equal amount of experience on Arch and on Debian type systems or other systems? Let me know. And um, What's your thoughts? Am I insane for wanting to wipe a system that works perfectly fine to go with Calculate, or am I going to learn even more new great things? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let me know also if I need a frying pan. So thanks for coming along, guys. You can help support the channel by having a look at the links up above the, the video or in the description down below, and follow along on social media if you want to stay up to date on what's going on on Switch to Linux.